Hey, how you doing, everybody? It's me, Chaperon. Ah, yes, Minecraft Zen, famously, notoriously, the most barren place of all time. But, uh, what if it wasn't? Tap that like button and sit back, because today, we're about to find out. So immediately, as soon as we make it to the outer end, I don't know if you can hear it beneath my booming voice, but I'm confused. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a thing too. Uh, this is scary. As soon as we jump into the end, I'm seeing colors, colors, and even more colors. Almost like it's the old Halsey song or something. The end is now. I mean, I almost said it's now full of life again, but it's full of life for the first- No, no, no! Now look, what I'm trying to say is imagine an end update that takes the end of the blank canvas that it currently is and slaps at least like five or so biomes on it with a bunch of brand new blocks, custom mobs, and even more. We gotta check this out. Main menu, it begins here. Behavior packs, poggies, better on bedrock be 1.2.0. So, uh, think back, you remember a couple of days ago when we were checking out that beautiful, the brand new shader update on Minecraft Bedrock? Well, yeah, Poggy is lit, more like Poggy is legend. Okay, maybe that one fell flat. I thought it was sounded cool, though. Well, yeah, I'd like to send a huge thanks to Poggy is lit for giving me a little sneak peek of the next version, and also a shout out to all of the people who helped to build this vision. Oh, and real quick before I forget, once Bedrock 1.21.20 drops, not a single experimental toggle will be required. Ah, so in a brand new world, I kick things off with an advancement and a small thank you note all. How could you? We kick things off with a beautiful soundtrack. It's so calming. I don't usually roll with the Minecraft music, but it's the perfect vibe. We kick our journey off with not one, but three different items. An info scroll, a rolled up quest scroll, try and say that real quick, and then an add-on config. Now, of course, the goal today is to reach our way out to the end and check out what an end update could look like, but I feel like I would be a little bit of a fool to not take a look at just a small glimpse of some of this stuff. So Better on Bedrock is an absolutely massive overhaul of a Minecraft as you know it. We're talking brand new mobs. We're talking brand new trees. We're talking even more, and it's 100% free. It always will be. Inside of this info scroll, you get a little bit of information as to how progression has changed and some of the different things and how they work. Inside of rolled up quest scroll, if I use that, then all of a sudden I get an opened quest scroll. I go ahead and open the quest scroll, and then I will find a bunch of different quest lines that will guide me through this new stuff. And last but not least, we get add-on config. Inside of add-on config, very essential toggles, including end biome fog enables fog for end biome, so absolutely you had me at end. Alrighty, with a little bit of setup out of the way, I would still be a fool if I just abandoned my beautiful spawn inside of this world without even taking a look around for a second. Whoa, you're a deer. Oh, you're precious. That's what you are. Ah, blueberry, blueberry, blueberry. You know, I've always seen different mods and add-ons, just different things that have this little information pop up at the top of the screen when I, like, look at something. Like, what in the world is that? Is it farmable? Well, now I know. What in the world is this? Mutilated being? No, 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 not mutilated. That's a sweet dotted sheep. How could you say that? Alrighty, so right off the bat, it appears that I have located... Oh, oh. Well, I want to be respectful, so I'm just... So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave you. You know what it is. Wow. So or just right off the bat, the different sounds, the different creatures that I'm seeing all over the place. You, my dear friend, who in the world are you a goblin trader? <laughs> I interact with you and take a look at that. It's like a brand new wandering trader that actually maybe wants to wander into your life and bring you good things, including the new enchantments, different like netherite things, a flipping map. <laughs> you just say, who's this? It's me, Shabble Throne, I told you. The overworld is beautiful, and I wish I could spend more time and check it out today. But anyways, now we need to progress ourselves a little bit further on to the end. And whoa, whoa, well, whoa, well, whoa. Well. Inside of this add-on, there's a brand new structure. Definitely not a structure that I added myself. But mm, yes, a brand new structure on this beach where there is perfectly conveniently an end portal frame. I, again, definitely did not build that and set that up here for the video. I cannot stress that enough. Oh, no, oh, no. How could you? That's despicable. It's all right, enough lollygagging. Let's focus on the end update. Our journey today truly begins over here on the main end island. Everything is going to be very familiar feeling because in this end update concept, the main dragon fight is basically unchanged. I say basically and not definitely because take a look at that sweet brand new boss bar. The idea of custom boss bars to make each boss feel more unique. Oh, yes, please. But yeah, aside from the occasional brand new block, you might be able to find generating on the main end island. The 
rest of the stuff is going to be basically the same. So, you know how it goes. Go ahead and battle the Ender Dragon ferociously and fiercely, and eventually the dragon will depart. Go ahead and give that a second. 100% survival. GG. Easy. No re. Mm, well, well, well. When those Endermen departed from the world so dearly a second ago, we got a brand new item. I love that. I can't get enough of it. Every single time I unlock a new item, a new advancement, or whatever, that, that beautiful chords roll in one more time, I... Oh, <laughs> music to my ears. I love this. Alrighty, so anyways, immediately after taking out the dragon, an end gateway opens up just like normal. Well, uh, Enderman, look at you. You look good. Oh, now mobs, but also like just things in general. There are so many things added inside of this add-on. Like this is essentially turning Minecraft into a brand new game. Inside of the inventory here, there are items on items on blocks on items on food. And yeah, just in general, there is so much to see. Let's head to the outer end. All right, so this is actually kind of perfect. Right here, immediately inside of the outer end, we see the old faithful, old familiar. From time to time, inside of the end, you will still have the classic end biome. It all kind of reminds me, to be honest, of what they did in the nether update, where they, like, kept the old nether in the game in the form of the nether waste biome. So all around us, we've got biomes on biomes. So the first place that I'd like to check out today, though, and also one of my favorite places, is a little place called the Vacant Dusk. What do you mean? No, I'm not afraid of the mobs here. No, no, the spider. No, I don't care about it. All right. Now, common theme that we're going to see inside of this end update concept is brand new mobs, brand new plans, brand new things all over the place. The vacant dusk is such a good feeling biome. You move into this place and immediately there's like these strange tall tree like things. If I use the axe on this thing, I go ahead and break it. It's basically a brand new type of wood. Inside of the inventory, take the wood to the crafting table and sure enough, you get a brand new type of wood. Wood is wood. What do you know? Amazing, right? Oh, wow, I hate to say it, poor Spruce Wood. You've been my OG, my number one for so long, but you add this to the game, and goodbye, Spruce Wood, your history. I'm so sorry. Now, we need to be careful. In a normal survival setting here, there are so many things inside of this biome, or really just dimension as a whole, that are a little bit maybe not so nice. The brand new mobs like the jelly. I don't know exactly where it jellied off to over there. That's not so bad. It's just a floating weird thing. With also at the same time, I'm so sorry about this, but not very much health. But meanwhile, on the other hand, there are other ooh, things that are disgusting looking. It really definitely not so nice. Now you remember, I totally didn't give myself resistance. In fact, I don't know why I'm saying that. I Because I didn't. I love how we could take a look at like practically any block plant item or thing in the game and get a little bit of information as to what's going on too, but but remember that if you're playing this and you already know everything about anything, like Abe Lincoln's birthday clocked into your memory, well you can turn off all the info pop-ups. Oh, and another cool thing that I like about that whole info toggle is if you hover over food, check that out. It gives you the stat onto the food and actually like what's going on. Mm, anyways, back in our travels. Now all throughout the end, we'll find a very familiar looking plant, but it's so funny with all this stuff here now. I don't even care about the old Cora stuff. Instead, I just want to take a look at everything here. Spood or Fox? Oh, oh, I don't like... Oh, man, there's something about all of these legs on these creatures. No, thank you. Please just stop, 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 stop. A simple traveler wandering through the vacant dusk biome. I love all of the light going on inside of this biome, too. It looks so good. Like, the idea of hanging lights all over the place, it almost calls me back to, like, the lush caves or something like that. One of my favorite mobs, though, it's so simple. It's just a simple ambient on this jelly right here that floats around in the sky it makes me feel like i'm like all of a sudden underwater or something like that like just how these things move so gently and smoothly through the air it teleports to my mind somewhere else i swear all right so anyways before those spoder foxes recognize me let's go ahead and keep on trekking i don't ever know this little thing right here is called enchanting it's blushy and i i think i'm in love with it one stack of barrier is coming right up after traveling through this biome for a while, eventually I find a mob that is even more terrifying. If you thought mobs were terrifying already, no, 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 you've seen nothing. This thing is called Bacterio. Bacterio is a little bit of a stronger mob coming at us with 50 health, and also there are so many Bacterios over here. In fact, I just don't want to deal with you. I just wanted to move from this biome over into the next one that I wanted to check out called the Fungal Grove. It's a small version of it. Okay, actually, maybe it's a little bit bigger than I once thought. This is a decent-sized Fungal Grove. Inside of the 
the fungal grow? We have a familiar looking jelly, but take a look at these trees. These trees are built out of a strange slime-like substance called a purple slime shroom. We also have got that classic Minecraft mushroom stem block right here, giving it away if it was any question that yes, yes, indeed, these are giant fungus. All right, now, oh, excuse me, this thing right here, no, please, please, no, 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 I don't like this biome. This biome is full of terrible monstrosities that are, like, tall and, like, terrifying. The idea of taking an end update and maybe making it a little bit creepy, at least in, like, some places of it, it's almost like the idea of what they did in the deep dark, but, like, slap it inside of the end, so it's, like, late game, so maybe if you don't want to go here, you don't have to anyways i just want to, to please calm down a little bit and be safe and the, the home sweet home leave me please leave me be no 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 you cheater you if i could stop being swarmed by the demonic beings the satan spawns themselves that would be a one there's some kind of different feeling standing up on top of this tower looking out into the abyss knowing like there's just nothing there and there are these giant mutants all around me on the ground that just like instinctually hate me no thank you let's move on so next up getting a little bit of a fly shot of the end you can see here that there is so much going on and even in the fog hazy distance like over there for example there are some different structures you can find what happened to old faithful trusty familiar you say though well don't worry they're still here oh so next up let's go from a blue strange place place over to a yellow golden weird place one small hop across the pond over here we have a giant version of the yellow biome now a little spoiler here doesn't matter how many burgers i have this yellow biome is a hateful bad place the poison immediately begins it's called the voiding abyss and inside of this place from my experience you are going to find so many strange looking bugs a lot of them that like to fly love the idea of using the sky inside of this biome but oh wow yeah you better come here with like a bow some better armor you know some kind of situation fully checked out and figured out because the mobs here are bad and they lock on from far away anyways look at these beautiful particles oh Oh, wow, it's, it's just it's so majestic. I wish more places in Minecraft it took advantage and made use of things like this in the sky. It looks so good. Uh, I don't think anybody knows I'm here, so I got a quick second. Abyss stone over here. The abyss stone over here. It kind of like grows on a tree. I should probably use a pickaxe to pick it up. Except I am a, a fool, I'm a clown, and now they've found me again. Great. Traveling on throughout this biome, the plant life throughout this biome, and really the whole dimension, it's A1 top tier. You, my small oh. friend, finally something that doesn't hate me for once. It's called a croaker. Look at the model on this thing, those gigantic eyes. It's like, oh my god. Can a guy look at his croaker in peace? The croakers are one of my favorite mobs that I found so far in this pack. The, just everything about them, the eyes, gigantic, the weird blocky model. It's so Minecraft. In my imagination, this buddy is like the Strider's cousin, just weird, bizarre from a fantasy land oh my yeah by the way these things like to like know that they can fly and flex it on you and just like fly up higher than you could ever dream of reaching to okay please levitation do a leap but no so today so far up until this point we've done a whole bunch of exploring better on bedrock is an absolutely massive atom if you would like to see more in-depth look at the end or anything else then let me know by tapping like our next stop of the day is going to send us all the way back over to almost just about where we started just beyond the classic end biome we'll find something almost a little burnt looking all right, so right off the bat, I see a small little wisp-looking thing. This tiny little mob. It's like a, that firefly thing from Zelda. Hey, yeah, yeah, you listen. know, the one that makes that noise. Look at it, though. It's so small and simple and peaceful. I, like, I don't want to hurt it. This biome right here is maybe one of the most creepy ones, at least to me, because it's almost like a giant liminal space where, like, it totally feels like the Soul Sam Valley in the sense that something bad happened here. Like, what is all of this stuff on the ground, and why does it look so decayed, right? Compared to some of the other places that we've been today, the creatures that are living inside of this biome, though they're super disturbing looking, many of these creatures are going to tolerate our existence inside of this space a little bit better than the other ones would have. Oh, and that's an Enderman. That's totally an Enderman that I definitely didn't look at. It's square in the face and make mad. Nope. Yeah, Endermen are gonna just spawn throughout the end still, like good old-fashioned Minecraft. You know how it goes. Now, while we're wandering through the voiding plains, from time to time, I will find the structures, and these structures add to the lore of this place even more. From taking a look at this structure and just, like, the setup, the aesthetic of it, it almost looks like it's, like, I don't know, something from the past or something, like a ruined, a monument or something. <laughs> and it's kind of clever here. You got all these, like, purple, brown, black blocks, and then cherry log. I mean, it fits in perfect. It's just kind of funny and kind of, like, goofy to me, knowing that the fact that... You you break this thing down and then it becomes such a bright happy looking block but instead it's in this despair of a biome 
Look, I don't know about you, but like anytime I get an add-on, anything like that, I like to put it in the game and basically just wander around and look at things. Is this just a me thing? No, it can't be, right? It's <laughs> Hey, when I stand like this, it lines up perfectly. It looks like I have a chorus at. Yeah, so the Voiding Plains right here, it's like a big open expanse of a biome. You can see for miles and miles on years on years, and it's just so creepy. It's like the sounds here are spacey and just alone feeling. An end update that takes the current blank canvas of an end and like a Picasso painting or something and paints biomes all over the place? Yes, please. Now, today we've taken a look at a lot of better Bedrock's end, but definitely not all of it. For an even closer look at some of the new structures, biomes, blocks, and more, you know what to do. It's been me, Waddles. I would like to thank Poggy one more time for the early access. I would like to thank you all warmly for hanging out with me through this video. Until next time, it's been me. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>